No. 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 We were promised an escape. Not on the same moon we fled. I shall not meet my final days here in this blasted waste. Calm yourselves! Your panic is our greatest enemy! Come! We must build a line of defense! How? Leave the fighting to us, Father. You must lead the people to safety. I can handle this pair. You shall tend to the refugees. Let us be about it. As you wish, my little lord. Single fiend escape! Wait, that's... Eulis and the army. So, you've recovered then? In time enough to be of aid, for once. We can speak of it more later. For now, we must fight! To repay your salvation in kind, or with better! For Garlimald has her pride! Of that I've no doubt. Saviors, the Imperial Army. Oh. I had hoped to take all of them down at once. Think a withdrawal might be in order? Ah, oh, sod that! You know who would never abandon these people to their fate be devoured by their former friends. That'd be beyond cruel. These beasts must fall here and now. Well then, I'd say it's high time we threw caution to the winds. So long as you spare me the heroic sacrifices. Now, let's go! Not the barest trace of ether. 
Maybe there really is no way to bring them back. Thank you for saving our lives once again. I remember you, from Purusha. You helped us there too, didn't you? Ah, oh, you're from Palakar Stand. I'm glad you're still in one piece. Or you will be, once I see to that injury of yours. One. This will be a brighter future! I won't let a madman's apocalypse ruin everything we've fought to achieve! Much of him as it is. You mustn't let Eorzea's hero fight alone. You must board without delay. The ship will depart ere long. Your offer to host us in Charlian is most appreciated. But will the final days not soon fall upon it as well? Your hesitation is not unwarranted. The satrap entrusted me with your lives, yet I have failed your comrades. Nor are you wrong to fear that this corruption will continue to spread. I cannot promise you complete safety, even in my homeland. What I can promise is that I will do all in my power to protect you. That power is not inconsiderable. Even now, my countrymen are preparing the vessel that will deliver us to a sanctuary on the moon. Join us on our journey there, and beyond, to new horizons. Come to old Charlian. 
please. We would be fools to refuse such a generous offer made in earnest. It seems they've a new destination. The people of Radzat Han have known too much suffering. The march to Garlemald will only bring them more, short though it may be. I quite agree. Fortunately, they have you to look after them. Yes. Well... Behind you! Just there! to the airship. Why have you come? A heretofore unseen beast. It was ripe for the slaying. Poor sport, alas. Unfit to temper my blade. Oh, for the love of... You cannot still be on about a rematch. That is and has ever been my sole concern. You, on the other hand, are fixated on a different quarry. Your passion pales before mine, yet neither hate nor despair seem sufficient to recapture your misdirected bloodlust. So I hone my blade, and I wait. That's it. That's all you care about. Garlemald is in ruins. Our homeland, the nation you rule, is as good as gone. Along with so many of its people. Not just soldiers like us. Not only those who fought and killed for power and duty. Innocent civilians. Murdered by their own flesh and blood. Lost and confused as they breathed their last. While we who survived with our lives and minds intact were left to freeze to death. The Eorzeans tell me all this was your doing! You slaughtered your countrymen! You did! For what? For nothing in the end. So much wasted effort. You... You bastard! For your own sake, Eulus, you must control your anger. It will serve no one should it consume you and see you transformed.
Would you be happier had I a good reason? What? If my motives met with your approval, would you no longer resent the outcome? If so, then perhaps a beast's skin would suit you better. Duty, honor, morality. All constructs of convenience when put to proof. Surely the war taught you how easily power becomes the tool of the self-righteous. How the people's justice was merely a means to their ends? Yet you would ask me why. Ask any creature of this star and those above for answers, and they will tell you what suits their fancy. And they would be right to do so. What meaning there is to be found in the petty vicissitudes of your existence must be gleaned by you, and you alone. Should you seek it in battle, in the fruitless pursuit of my demise, then come. Assume your rightful place, as a notch on my blade. Light on the Garlean race, and there would be no more satisfying way to expunge it than by beating you to death! But I will not be party to another tragedy. I refuse to lose anyone else because of you. So go. Go! And may we never suffer your madness again! Xenos! Perhaps you found meaning in living this way. I cannot deny you found strength. Yet if you only pursue your hedonistic pleasures, and pay no heed to the plight of others, then no one will give you the time of day. You will never get what you want, not even the battle you pine for so dearly. You'll be alone for an eternity, and you'll deserve every agonizing second of it. We're ready to depart. The refugee ships will be leaving shortly, but I've asked mine to remain for the time being. There's room enough for you to join me on it, if you wish. Do contain your surprise. I needn't agree with the Scion's methods or intentions to acknowledge that their deeds are deserving of gratitude. We appreciate the offer, but might I ask why you are delaying your departure? I presume it is not solely for our benefit. I must visit Garlemald ere we return to Charlian. Having caused such an uproar, it is only meet that I explain myself to the Ilzabad contingent. Allow us to accompany you then. We should be glad to facilitate, given our familiarity with all concerned. 
If you would like to join as well, Eulus, we can speak of recent events on the way. He'll be after your seat on the forum next. <laughs> 